Hey guys, it's Adrienne for WDW Bound, and today I want to talk about one of the best experiences we've ever had in Walt Disney World, and that is the Wild Africa Trek in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Here you'll see a picture of our group real quick. Um, my husband and I experienced this backstage tour um, in 2019, I believe it was, um, for our anniversary. We kind of splurged a little bit because it is a little pricey. This tour costs about $199 per person. Occasionally, they do offer annual pass holder and Disney Vacation Club discounts, and it can vary on the time of year and time of day that you choose to do your tour. The tour itself lasts for about three hours, and you will, as I said, kind of take a backstage, more intimate view of the Kilimanjaro safaris and have some really neat experiences along the way. Here you'll see us crossing the infamous rope bridge. Uh, if you have ever gone on the safari, you will see this kind of going over the crocodiles and um, it's, you know, supposed to be a little scary, but you know, you're fully suited in and you know, it's, it looks like a rickety bridge, but it's, you're really not that bad. Um, but it's still really cool to say that you've been able to do that. Along the tour, you'll also see all the other animals. You're about to see a video here in a few seconds of the giraffes. And um, our giraffes were a little naughty that day. They wanted to stay in the middle of the roadway and refused to get out no matter how much uh, the wonderful cast members tried to tempt them with some sweet grass and other kind of goodies. Um, it was actually really funny. And of course, the cast members, both that were giving us our, to our tour and were, you know, dealing with the giraffes here, um, were wonderful and making jokes. And it was just a great time. But if you've ever wondered if you've been waiting in line for the safari and you see the time jump up real quick, it is because of experiences like this. We were told that if an animal chooses to be in the path of the safari vehicles, they are not allowed to move them. This is their space, their home. And while they can try to tempt them, like you've seen here, um, they are not actually able to physically move the animals. So sometimes that can cause quite a backup and a delay on your safari. Um, a few things to know, like I said, the trek does take about three hours to complete and you must be at least eight years old. Again, we did this on our an anniversary trip. So we left the kids at home because both kids weren't of age at that time. Um, and you also must be 48 inches tall. Towards the end of the tour, you are provided with some complimentary snacks. Here on the Boma, you get to kind of take a rest, get under some shade for a little while, and enjoy some um, traditional, more African foods. We really, really enjoyed this break. The foods were really kind of different, but the views were spectacular. You really can't say enough about just how beautiful it is to sit up on that Boma and be able to just rest and relax and watch the animals. This actually was part of the reason that we took this tour in the first place. My husband, as we had gone on the, the regular Kilimanjaro safari, had said how neat it would be to stay up there, and I completely agree. Here you'll see our wonderful tour guides. We had a fantastic time on this tour, and I cannot recommend it enough. I've told people over and over again that it is the best money I've ever spent in Walt Disney World, and I will continue to say that until something maybe outlasts it, but we'll see if that ever happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've had an experience on the Wild Africa Trek, please let us know in the comments below, and we will see y'all next time. Bye!